Hello everybody and welcome to today's very exciting video. Today we're going to be talking about Unity's uh, much anticipated Black Friday sale that they're hosting on their asset store. I say it's much anticipated because basically right when the sale started um, at 9 p.m. Pacific time, uh, the site basically crashed and um, it's been pretty slow to come back. Um, but I was able to actually buy a couple of the assets that um, I've been you know, really anticipating for for this Black Friday sale. So anyways, in today's video, I kind of just want to talk a little bit about the sale and some of the cool things that are happening there um, and then go over some of my favorite assets and some assets that we can use in our Unity Dots projects. And before we get too deeply into it, I'd just like to thank Unity for sponsoring this video about their Black Friday sale. Um, also, there will be some links to the assets that I'm talking about down in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, which means that I do get a small commission if you do decide to purchase these assets. Um, however, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You know, if you're going to buy these assets anyways, it just kind of helps support uh, me make these YouTube videos. So anyways, let's talk a little bit about the sale. So kind of the main Black Friday sale um, is taking place between November 14th and December 4th, um, where there's over 500 of the most popular assets that are 50% um, off. But one cool thing that they're doing in this sale actually is these things known as lightning deals, um, where basically they're going to be um, basically putting out groups of assets every single day at different times throughout the day. Um, and these assets, they basically start at 90% off. And then the more people buy these assets, then um, you know the, the less the discount is basically. So again, it starts at 90% off. Once a certain number of people buy them, then it goes to 80% off until 70% off, until 60% off, until 50% off, and then it stays at 50% off um, all the way until December 4th at the end of this Black Friday sale. Um, so there's some cool things in here and you can get some screaming deals. Um, so there's this one that I was really looking forward to, this Pro Radar Builder here. Uh, it's normally $80, you can see uh, at the 90% off price point, um, it's only $8. Um, luckily, I was fast enough at the, the very beginning of the Black Friday sale, was able to kind of fight through some of the website issues. I uh, did get it for $8, but you see, um, if you do refresh the page, it's still $24. It's 70% off right now, um, which I think is a really good deal for this asset. And so anyways, you can see on the Unity Asset Store what these lightning deals are and what the upcoming ones are. Basically, they're going to be releasing groups of these at a time. You're going to have new ones every single day uh, releasing throughout the day. Um, so be sure to check back in periodically to see if anything um, on there kind of piques your interest. All right, so now let's go ahead and start talking about some of the assets that we can add into our Dots project. So there's really only two assets um, on the Unity Asset Store store that are you know technically dots compatible and built off of a, a ECS backend and all that um, so the first one of those would be the rival dots character controller um, of course this is 50% off right now again all the way up until December 4th I did do a video previously um, on my YouTube channel basically kind of like doing an overview um, of the rival character controller and if you're looking for you know a first person or third person character controller for your dots game or maybe you want to uh, have some NPCs just just use a simple little character controller. Um, this is definitely a great place to look. And of course, you know, you can get it 50% off during the Black Friday sale. This is made by the same person who created the kinematic character controller, which is um, basically the kind of like game object uh, character controller. I know it's a kind of a go-to for a lot of people. Uh, this one is also 50% off during the sale, so it's uh, 30 bucks. And then the other basically Dots compatible asset on the Unity Asset Store um, is Dots Net, which is for Dots networking. And so basically with this, you know, right as it says, it's a high performance Unity networking from the creator of Mirror. So if you're not aware of Mirror, uh, Mirror is pretty much, um, you know, kind of like one of the go-to networking solutions that people use for Unity right now. So I know this is pretty much, you know, the go-to thing for people who are working on uh, a DOTS project, kind of read through all the features. There's a lot of cool things in here. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into it right now because I just purchased this asset in the sale right now, and I will be doing an overview uh, with it in a video next week. So definitely be sure to look out for that. All right, so those are basically the only two assets that are technically compatible with dots um, but I'm gonna be going over some other ones um, for some kind of things that we can integrate into our games that um, 
you know, we do still technically have to do a bridge between dots and mono behaviors and kind of like the game object world to get things to happen. I'm a huge fan of the the polygon, the Cinti assets. Um, you know, they do a lot of really good work. Here's uh, one that I, I really enjoy playing around with is this polygon military one. Um, I think they did a really good job at this, basically making um, kind of like a, a Middle Eastern military base is what it, it looks like. And, um, you know, you just get, you know, a ton of assets with all these asset packs. You know, they'll include like pictures of all the different, you know, vehicles and props and everything that they create. Um, so you really do get like a, just a ton of things with these polygon assets. Um, and the, the great thing about these is they make a bunch of these. Um, so there's, you know, this is like the shops one. So you can see it's kind of like a shopping mall and they do like really good like interiors and exteriors and they basically all kind of like fit together. They're all in the same style. Um, but I actually did purchase one in this, uh, this Black Friday sale. I was looking out for this one. This is the uh, Polygon Street Racer pack. Um, I think this is just a really a fun and cool pack. You know, it's all about, you know, customizing cars and everything like that. Uh, but the reason I actually got it is because I'm going to be participating in the Team Seas Seas Jam. Um, and this was uh, basically like one of the only um, asset packs from them that I came across that have these boats. And so they have these like, you know, big boats with shipping containers. Um, and I do want to do some cool things with that uh, in my uh, Team Seas entry. And then here's the uh, Epic Tune Effects pack. I, I really like this one. I've kind of integrated some of these uh, little effects into uh, some projects that I've worked on. And I think they look great. You know, just simple little cartoony fun things. Uh, just a nice pack to have. Uh, here's one that I just came across as well that I did purchase, which is the Ultimate SFX and Music Bundle. Um, so you basically get um, over 10,000 sound effects and 113 music tracks for only $15. I think that is incredible value right there. And they do even say down in the description here that uh, you basically get free lifetime updates. So as they add more uh, things to this pack, you do get those um, updates for free. Also the Shapes Asset Pack is on sale right now. Uh, this is a real-time vector graphics library. Um, so I think it's really cool that you can kind of add these like vector graphics into your game. Now here's an interesting one that I came across. Uh, again, I don't necessarily have a use for it myself right now, but it is the GPU Instancer assets. And uh, I think this is something that could work really well uh, hand in hand with dots. Um, basically, you can kind of like render tens of thousands of prefabs with high FPS. Um, so basically, this seems like kind of leverage the power of your GPU to, uh, you know, render a bunch of things on screen. All right, next up would be the Odin Serializer Inspector. This is a really cool one. Uh, there's some, some cool things that you can do with this. Um, obviously, most of the stuff is uh, affects mono behaviors. Um, but it is just kind of like a good tool to have. Here's just another quick one, Rainbow Folders 2. Basically, you can kind of change the colors and icons um, on your folders. So if you do kind of like having these uh, like graphical, you know, visual representations of the differentiating folders, if that's something helpful to you, you know, it's only $10, so that might be worth the investment. And then there are all sorts of wild things that you can find on there, such as nightclub system. I mean, if you're making a game that's set in a nightclub, you know, this is exactly what you want. You can have, you know, realistic simulating lights. Uh, I think this is awesome. This is what the Unity Asset Store is all about. You find these ridiculous things that someone spent a ton of time, like going over the very fine details on. Um, and yeah, I think this is totally awesome. I don't have any use for this right now, but I think it's so cool. So anyways, that's kind of an overview of about Unity's Black Friday sale that they're having for their Unity Asset Store. Um, I definitely think there's a lot of cool things in here. Of course, like I already mentioned, I did uh, purchase a good number of things already and was able to get really lucky with that uh, uh, lightning deal. So I'm super happy about that. Um, anyways, let me know what some of your favorite assets are and also let me know if there are some assets that you purchased off the Unity Asset Store that you are using in your project to, you know, maybe some success or maybe you had some issues with some other ones. I uh, would be really interested into hearing all that. Um, so anyways, that's going to be about it for today's video. Once again, thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video. Um, go ahead and check out those links down in the description below. Um, that's going to be basically be linking off to all the things that I mentioned in today's video. Uh, once again, those are affiliate links. So I do um, see a small commission off those purchases. Uh, however, it doesn't cost anything extra to you. It just helps support the channel as well as give you some awesome assets. So anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.